Hi, it's Dr. Soffler, and have I got an exciting plan for you today. You are going to be making and launching water rockets. So let me first show you what it's going to look like, and then we're going to talk about how you're going to build it. So let me share my screen of a quick video of how it's going to look. So you're going to build a rocket and it's going to be loaded onto this aquapod. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a minute. And then a grown-up, this one happens to be me, but a grown-up is going to pump into the launcher. We'll talk a little bit more about that when the time comes. And then you are going to be at the end of this very long string and you're going to launch your rocket at the end. So let me show you what this process looks like. There's me pumping. Talk about what this is doing. And then you are going to be at the end of the rope. That's going to be you. And then you're going to prepare yourself. The grown-up is going to step away from the launcher and woo it goes very, very high. It goes super high. So let me show you how we're going to make them. You are going to get an empty soda bottle. Actually, it may have water in it already, depending if I have preloaded them, but it will not have soda in it. It will not have soda in it, friends. If there's anything in it, it's going to be water. But I'm going to show you with an empty one for now. What's going to happen is we're going to, have, you're going to build whatever you are going to be thinking is going to make this rocket better. Maybe you need a nose cone to make it go higher. Maybe you want to put on fins. Maybe you want to make a parachute for it. Whatever you think is going to make this rocket awesomer, parachute, see if you can make it go higher, it's up to you. You're going to build that. You're going to create it here. This is important. Don't do anything around this bottom end. This is going to be the bottom of the rocket, the bottom end, because this is going to be the part that gets loaded onto the rocket launcher. So this is the rocket launcher. It's called an aquapod, okay? It looks like this. This is the big long string that's gonna go out in the field and it's super long and you're gonna be at the end of it. A grown up is going to give an assist by taking your bottle. It's going to have water in it when it's your time. This one's empty so I can show you. And they're going to put it onto the end of this rocket launcher and they're going to squish it all the way down. So as you can see, this part is actually going to hold on to the lip of the soda bottle as it becomes pressurized. I'm going to explain the pressurization in just a second. So it's going to sit on the lip to hold it on while it gets pressurized. You're going to be at the end of this big long string. The grown up is going to pressurize it with a pump. Then, this is important, while you're at the end holding on to the string, do not pull it. Don't make it a little tight, leave it very loose. Loose in your hand until the grown up moves away and says pull. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it like that. You're gonna give it a quick yank. You're not gonna yank it all the way back though. You're just gonna give it a firm, pull like this. So let me explain what's happening. When you are ready to put your rocket in the hands of the grown-up who's going to load it, it's going to have water in it about a third of the way up, between a third and a half. It's going to be upside down like this, okay? So this is going to be the part that goes up to the sky, and this is the part that goes to the launcher. Remember, we're not going to put anything right here, because that's the part that loads up, and it needs to be able to hold on to this lip of the bottle. Let me show you what's actually happening on this using the whiteboard. 
All right, bear with me with my drawing on here. So you have your soda bottle bottom. Okay, this is where it's going on the launcher. This is the lip. This is the rest of the bottle. That's the top part. That's really kind of the bottom, right? When we hold the soda bottle regular, but that's gonna be the top of our rocket. Okay. And then down here is the launcher. Okay. So this is the launcher. Inside the bottle is water. This is water. And then over here is kind of an outlet and there's gonna be a grown up with a bicycle pump. I call it, this is not a great picture of a bicycle pump, but that's what it's meant to represent. And it has a hose and it goes into here. The grown up is gonna pump this up and down. Okay, this is gonna go up and down and up and down. It's gonna pump air. It's gonna go in through the launcher and it's gonna come up through here. And you'll be able to see that there's gonna be bubbles that come through the water because the air is coming into here. What that does is it starts to create pressure. The inside, the more air that's coming in is pushing hard, hard, hard against the side, okay? So air gets pumped in, it comes in, it looks like bubbles, and then it's up here pushing on all sides very hard. The person who is pumping will start to feel like they can't pump anymore. It's going to feel like it's a little stuck. That's where they want to stop. Then they're going to say, all right, get ready. And this lip thing is going to be over here holding it down still. That's going to have a super long string out to you. When you pull it, this lip comes up. It comes up and out. And now the rocket is free. What happens then is this air pressure is pushing down on the water as well. And since it can't get out the sides of the bottle, the only way it can go is out the bottom. But what's in the bottom? The water. So the water starts rushing out the bottom and that pushes this down and then the rocket goes up. And it's a very exciting process. All right, so one more sort of pro tip. Before you build, you're gonna get a plan. You're gonna make a plan. Are you gonna build a nose cone? Are you going to build a parachute? Are you going to do fins? Remember, this part you need to leave without any embellishments. My pro tip to you is if you want to make a fin, it's hard to attach something like the cardstock paper directly to a bottle, right? So I'm going to show you just like a little bit of a trick. I'm just going to use regular paper. So say I want this to be my fin. I'm going to cut a little bit of a bottom to it. So here's the fin part. And then see how I have this bottom to it? If I fold that, I can now take this to the rocket, see? I can use the tape on this side. If I want it even better, I can cut this in half and I can make one fold go one way and one fold go the other way. And then I can tape it both sides to the rocket. And it stands up nice and clear, right? Tape both those little tabs down. 
that's my pro tip for that. So besides not doing anything on this bottom part, there's one other little piece that is important. Remember how we talked about how there's all this pressure inside the bottle? If you poke any holes, like you say, oh, I'm gonna poke a hole with something and put something inside attached to the bottle. All that pressure is gonna come right out your hole. And it might cause a real big problem, but it's definitely not gonna launch your rocket. So don't put any holes in your rocket. It needs to stay intact. All right. So the first part, again, is you're going to make a plan. The second part is you're going to work on your bottle becoming an awesome rocket. The third part is to make sure that when you head outside, you have your bottle with water and the cap is closed. It's just water, about a third to a half of the way full. When you get outside, you're going to give it to the grown up who is going to attach it to the launcher. They're gonna make sure it's secure. They're going to pump to put air in. You're going to be at the end of the rope. You're not going to pull it going to be loose. When the grown-up says, I'm going to move away now, they're going to step away. They're going to move back and everybody's going to be far back so that nothing happens to anybody and we're all safe. And then they're going to tell you when to go. And they're going to say, pull. You're going to pull with a quick, sharp motion, but not all the way back. You're going to pull just a bit like that. It's going to move this lip down. That's going to let the air pressure at the top, push the water down, and that down makes the rocket go up. You can then go and catch your rocket. Have a great day.